So I've seen some really exciting products and innovations and actually businesses in your sector recently. Um, but my favourite is a, a very small business called Biome, which is doing some really exciting work around new materials for building. Uh, and one thing in particular that they're doing is making housing insulation from mushrooms. Uh, and that insulation is more effective than any other insulation on the market. It's cheaper to buy and you could actually grow it effectively in your back garden in a shipping container. So that could completely revolutionise the way that we think about building materials. So really exciting. I think it's really important as a question to consider in housing, what's the difference between you know, what could be a minimum viable product in the consumer sector, for example, versus a minimum viable product in your sector. Uh, and in your sector, you know, the, the why of what you're doing has to be at the core of designing that minimal viable product. What I'm not advocating is saying that you should you know, kind of pack and stack people into smaller and smaller houses uh, for efficiency, but actually that there are ways of creating really good quality housing um, that, that's you know, available at the point of need much more quickly, uh, but that still meets all of those core objectives of quality and availability. I think the big tip I would give to anyone who's, who's trying to embark on a transformation is just start. Uh, and you know, when I, I, I don't know that's very easy to say, but just start by thinking about what is the why that you're trying to deliver on. Uh, start to have those conversations, start to read more, to explore and to understand what's out there. But just start, because it feels very intimidating when you think about it in the abstract. But as soon as you start to explore, it will ignite your curiosity and you'll find yourself running at it after that. I think it's a really good thing to think about whether actually everybody in your organisation needs to be involved in the innovation that you're about to embark on or the transformation that you're about to embark on or certainly whether they all need to be involved in it at the beginning um, because certainly one of the big lessons from working with clients across lots of different sectors is that there are some people who are just not on the bus at the beginning and actually you can spend a lot of time trying to get those people on the bus uh, when you should be working with people who are most enthusiastic so I would really encourage you to, to seek out those communities in your business that are going to help you initially uh, and in the longer term though bear in mind those people who are perhaps the most kind of slow to adapt or who might be a bit negative make sure that you're listening to their voice all the way through and engaging with them but don't let them lead the change that you're trying to carry out.